Japan's wartime sex slavery, an important matter that calls for every generation's attention and empathy, especially with a country responsible for the horrors still reluctant to acknowledge its atrocities and offer sincere apology to the victims. For our news features tonight, Yun Shin sheds light on some of the creative efforts to increase awareness of the painful past and to spread the brave survivors' inspirational messages. It's always springtime at this design brand shop in Seoul, showcasing products covered with vivid petals and blossoms. But there's more to this beautiful artwork than meets the eye. The floral designs represent the story of victims of Japan's wartime sex slavery. The topic can be sad and heavy to most people, so they tend to distance themselves away from it. That's why I incorporated the flowers into everyday items as a frequent reminder. Yun was first inspired by the pressed flowers that surviving victims created during their psychological sessions in later years. He turned their work into designs on cell phone cases. But now, the company's floral designs on everyday essentials depict the story of all Korean victims. I want customers to respect the victims because they didn't just stay as victims, but they brought the historical issues to the surface. And our clients represent the generation that actively wants to get involved in social matters and speak their minds. These products help customers get closer to the wounds the women carry. For that pure, consoling message the designs represent, a wide range of customers, including celebrities, are drawn to the brand. Efforts to shed light on the women who were robbed of their youth by Japanese troops are flourishing in the nation, crossing age groups. Some 70 years have since passed, but Japan's wartime sex slavery issue is an unsettling, painful, yet important part of the history. And it's the responsibility of the younger generations to make sure the atrocities of the past are never forgotten. A group of youths are doing just that. These high school students started creating gadgets like cell phone cases and tumblers this year with messages and illustrations to spread awareness of this history. With my school clubmates, I came across an article about a victim of Japan's conscription of sex slaves. Like all Koreans, I had known of the issue before, but through reading the victim's testimony, I felt her pain and how horrible it must have been for the victims. I wanted to do something for them. On the postcards, women who've been through such brutal times are portrayed. Their sorrowful faces contrasted by pastel shades, symbolizing their stolen youth. I want people to not just say that they know of the issue, but truly remember it in their heart, not just for a century or two, but for generations to come. I want this to never be forgotten. At the center of their motivations, the women who courageously voiced the atrocities of the past. 89-year-old Kiruwanok, who spent decades making people aware of the war crimes by opening up her scars, is again inspiring many, but in a way we have never seen before. She has long dreamed of becoming a singer, and with the help of a talent agency and the Korean Council for the Women drafted for military sexual slavery by Japan, she now proudly presents her album, featuring 15 tracks she recorded, with backup singers who volunteered for the honor. Kyu says she loves to sing and isn't shy about giving a taste of her album to the crowd. <laughs> and for them, watching her pursuing what she loves, showing off what she's good at instead of sharing stories as a victim, is a first. We have looked to her only as a victim of sex enslavement. It's our duty to help her just be herself, just kill or not the person, because that's what actual liberation is about. The heartbreak of the past, now rediscovered through various forms of art. And all these creations were made with one shared passion, to keep spreading the strength and hope the survivors have taught us. Yun Shin, Arirang News.